See, Berkeley is no stranger to protests and demonstrations. In fact, they've been part of campus culture for decades. But a group of Israeli students says one demonstration got scary fast when protesters broke down the door of their on-campus event. Our Itai Had spoke with a student who was forced underground to escape. I saw a girl get grabbed by the neck and shoved. I saw my friend get spat at. And I saw just how much anger and hatred they had towards us at this moment. For about half an hour last week, Sharon Knaffelman, a 19-year-old Berkeley student, says she feared for her life. I couldn't understand like where, where this loud noise was coming from, and it's just them going like, like this with all of their strength, all their might, to the point that they shattered the glass completely. <laughs> On February 26th, Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters broke down the door of UC Berkeley's Zellerbach Playhouse, where an Israeli speaker was set to address Jewish students. The demonstration appears to have been organized by a student group Bears for Palestine. In a Facebook post the day before, the group called on people to protest the event, which was sponsored by three Jewish organizations. I thought, am I living in 1939 Nazi Germany? Sharon says the mob became violent, forcing her and her friends to flee through an underground exit. What's going through your mind while this is happening? I mean, I'm just thinking, why is this happening? Why is it that we, just like any other club, can't simply, you know, have our events, have our private event peacefully? On Monday, the university announced it's investigating the incident as a hate crime, slamming the protest as unacceptable. But Sharon says she's been feeling uneasy for a while now by things like the Palestinian flags at the university's iconic Sather Gate. Almost every time I see it, I do have a visceral reaction to it. It does make me feel extremely uncomfortable. And it's not just at Berkeley. A recent survey by the Anti-Defamation League found that since the start of the school year, nearly three in four Jewish students had experienced or witnessed anti-Semitism. Ever since Hamas attacked Israel on October 7th, Sharon's parents have begged her not to wear her Star of David in public. But Sharon says she won't be intimidated. This is a symbol of my people, and if someone gives me a dirty look for it or they try to ostracize me for it, I don't care because this is who I am. By the way, we did reach out to the campus organization Bears for Palestine multiple times since last week. We did want to hear their side of the story, but as of tonight, we still have not heard back. UC Berkeley, though, gave us a statement saying they received reports of overt anti-Semitism directed towards student organizers and attendees, including allegations of physical battery.